What are we doing today? Today's episode of The Cross Legacy, we're making drinks. So there's a couple components of a drink. Usually the components are the booze, a mixer, or like something like sour or sweet or something like that. Actually, something sour. Booze, sour, and sweet. Usually those are it. But today we're making our version of the old fashioned. So this is a, this, is a, this version is not a traditional version at all. It is a version that we have created. Uh, we got some inspiration from a course we took, a uh, bartending experience we took in Nashville, Tennessee. And they gave us some tips on how to make our own stuff. And this one is kind of derived from that. So today we're gonna be using Jack Daniels Honey, which is a Tennessee whiskey. And it's a flavored honey, so it makes it a little bit sweeter. We like things a little on the sweeter side. So that's what we're going with. It's def again, this is not traditional. So Jack Daniels, Honey Aromatic Bitters. This particular brand is The Bitter Truth. And simple syrup. We're gonna spice it up with some chai tea infused into the whiskey and garnish with an orange. So first thing we wanna do, because we're using the tea, we're gonna want to kinda of have the tea infused into the whiskey. So we'll do that first. And keep in mind, I'm a professional amateur. So uh, we're using the hex clad knives to open up the whiskey. So uh, when we were in Tennessee, we were there for some other events, but one of the cool things we did was we went to the Jack Daniels distillery and we learned about how they make the number seven and how they make all of their whiskeys. The difference between Tennessee whiskey and maybe a straight whiskey or a Kentucky whiskey is that it's filtered one final time through some charcoal. So that's one of the things, I don't know, but this is delicious. And this particular one, I don't know how we've stumbled into using Jack Daniels honey for these old fashions, but it is a great a great choice if you like them a little on the sweeter side. I don't know, it kind of has that old timey feel. I don't know what it is. I don't, I don't know what it is. You try it and you'll know what I'm talking about. This is a jigger and it holds two ounces on this side, one ounce on this side. Makes it good for measuring all of your ingredients when you're making cocktails. So to infuse the tea into the whiskey, we're gonna take two ounces of our whiskey. So we'll just let that sit in there for a little while and then we'll get the rest of the stuff ready to go. Anyway, we talk about chai tea. This is stash double spice chai and it makes um, some great flavors for this old fashioned. So <clears throat> you need some ice in your mixing glass and then we'll get some ice in our cocktail glass. The ice, Keep kind of fancy with the specialty ice blocks. These are circles. It's kind of cool. You can do these in the silicone molds or you can get like a block of ice and have these like, I don't know what you call it. It's like a, it forms it into a shape, whether it's a circle or a cube or whatever. And it's like heated and it melts it. So like some of the more extravagant bartenders, they'll set that up and it'll like be sinking down, forming the shape while they're making the drink and then they put the ice in and it's super cool. For what we're doing, we got a silicone mold making a circle. So we just got a sphere of ice, put that in. So we'll add the rest of the ingredients. We'll add the bitters to our mixing glass with filled with ice. Oh, I forgot a very important thing. So it's bartender's towel. You can't make a drink with that. Okay, so in the class it said somewhere around seven drops of bitters. Other recipes do two to three dashes of bitters. So it just depends on your preference. Try a few, see how you like it. I'm gonna do two dashes of the Bitter Truth Aromatic Bitters. So dash, one, two, that's really all you need. You don't need a bunch of bitters in your drink. We're also gonna use some simple syrup. This is the cocktail spoon bartender spoon. This is a teaspoon measurement. I use a teaspoon plus a little bit because like I mentioned earlier, I like it a little extra sweet. So we have our bitters, our simple syrup, which is just sugar water. And then now we'll put in the infused whiskey. You should squeeze the tea to get all the, you don't want to lose any of the whiskey. Pour that in. So when they, the uh, when you're mixing this up, what you're trying to do is you're, you're melting some of the ice to get some water into the cocktail. Also, you're trying to cool the cocktail down. And one of the terms we learned was you're, you're cooking it up, like how much you want to cook it up when you're making your cocktail. So you can feel how cold it is. You can do how, how long it is, like however you want to do it. But usually you want to cook it up for a while, stir it, make sure all the ingredients are blended together. Stirring technique is you can do what basically whatever you want. But when we're in the class, they said to kind of keep 
hold it and then put the pinky on the other side of it, so like this. So it kind of helps you have control over the spoon and what you're doing. So we've cooked that enough and use our strainer. Just put the strainer over the top of the glass. It should fit nice. It's like a spring, so it fits kind of different sizes of glasses. We're using our, you guessed it, Cross Legacy glasses we had made, which are fantastic for drinking old fashions. All right, now final ingredient on the old fashioned is an orange or a garnish. I kind of go, this is the one spot where I kind of go traditional and use an orange. You can use an orange, you can use a lemon, you can use cherries, you can use almost anything, but usually orange, an orange is pretty traditional as well as a cherry is also, you see that a lot. So I used to use an orange peel. So the trick is to, you want to do a couple things. You first, you want to bend the orange peel rind side out and you want to spray the orange oils into the drink and you also want to rub the orange peel on the rim of the drink because that's going to get allow you to smell the orange it's going to enhance the flavors of the drink even though you're just smelling it it's going to enhance the flavors so we will spray the peel onto the drink like so and then we will rub the peel on the drink and i always like to put the orange side facing the inside of the drink so you're looking at this rather than the white part just like that cheers Mm, that's really good. I like it. These are my favorite. Wasn't really drinking whiskey and those types of drinks uh, previous to our trip to Tennessee, but the bartending class was uh, kind of inspirational in a way. And it, this is really good. If you like sweet on the sweeter side of old fashions, you can still taste the whiskey. You can still taste the orange, but it's a very like uh, spicy version. Uh, not spicy hot, but spicy like Probably chai like tea. Shazam. A bit on whiskey, if you are making cocktails or if you're just drinking whiskey straight or you're sipping it or whatever you're doing. In this particular cocktail, we use the Jack Daniels Honey, which is really sweet, has a lot of flavor to it. But if you don't want any of the other types of additives and stuff that are in it, you can use a just a straight whiskey or you can use a rye whiskey. Rye whiskey, a lot of times, will be used for a cocktail because it'll bring out like a, a flavors. It just does well when you add other ingredients to it. So sometimes rye whiskey is the way to go. Jack Daniels makes a great rye whiskey. Rye whiskey is great when you're mixing a cocktail and you're not just drinking it straight.